So hello everyone. I'm Shreyast. I'm a software development engineer. So uh, we are starting with this lead code premium top interview problem series. We'll be discussing each and every problem which are mentioned on the lead code top interviews, and also this will help you to crack your next coding interview in the top notch product based company. So let's start with the problem. This problem says that we have been given an integer array nums. We have need to return answer such that the answer of i equals to product of all the numbers except the number i itself. Okay, the product of the prefix and suffix is guaranteed in this range. That is uh, okay. And uh, see, uh, for the first index, we need to just multiply two, three, and four. That is two into three, six, six, four, the twenty-four. For this twelve. Three is eight, and four is six. Okay, two into three into one is six. Okay, so we need to just take care of certain conditions, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so let's try to analyze the problem. How we can do this? So see, uh, this array is given to us, and we need to find the product except this number. So for this it will be two into three into four. For this it will be one into two into three. For the next index, let's say it will be for three one into two into four. For the last is one into two into three. So if we closely look at it, this product is nothing but a some kind of n. No, it is some kind of embedded uh, the left half and the right. Products. Okay, so what if we calculate the left product in a variable uh, that is the product up to i minus one at index? Okay, for a particular i-th element, and there is something that calculates the right product. That is, it has the value it uh, product till the right end. Okay, so. This way, we will uh, try to solve this. So let's go. Try to code this. It will be more clear then. Okay. So let's first create a vector. Answer vector int a n s that is of n elements. Okay. And uh, the answer of zero will uh, will always be one. Okay, cool. Now uh, let's also calculate the size of this nums dot size. Okay, now let's traverse over the left part. Int i is equals to one i less than n i plus plus. In this, what we'll do? We will just store answer is equals to answer of i is equals to answer of i minus this into the current value. Okay, this is sorted now. Now let's. This is for the left part. Okay, now we declare a variable int r is equals to one. For storing a uh, r r results, okay. So int i again is equals to uh, n minus one i greater than equals to zero i minus minus. And here, what we'll do? We will multiply it by r, and r will be multiplied. By nums of i, and what we'll return finally we'll return answer. So we computed the left part, left product, left prod, and here we are computing the right prod. Okay, so let's run this, and it is accepted. Let's submit this. 
so it is accepted okay so what we are doing we are just storing the left up to i minus 1 for a ith element and the right part and just we are clubbing both of them okay so the time complexity will be order of n and the space complexity will be uh, order of 1 as we are not considering the spaces uh, that is for returning the vector okay this is mentioned in the question that is why it is except okay so thank you everyone do like share this video and we'll meet you in the next